Hey guys, Weeby News here. So, in my last Genshin Impact video, I took a look at some crossover content between Genshin and Danganronpa. Specifically, one of the videos that I watched was this really professionally animated execution of Paimon, and since then, I've been falling down a Billy Billy rabbit hole where I keep finding an insane amount of crossover videos. Some look really amazing, and some look a bit more questionable. But today, I wanted to take a look at one of the first ones that I found, and it's this really well done Danganronpa slash Genshin Impact Impact class trial. Unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce the creator's name, but I'll be sure to link their account in the description if you'd like to check out their videos. It seems like they've posted quite a few other videos as well. Also, I don't think there's a more official translation for this video, so I just ended up using Google Translate to try to figure out what was going on. So it might not be 100% accurate. Feel free to correct anything in the comments section. But before we get into the video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, Gamersups. Gamersups is an energy drink mix made specifically for gamers. I, for one, have a crippling addiction to caffeine, so I absolutely love this stuff. During streams, I tend to get tired after talking for so long, so now I always have this next to me and it's helped so much with my energy. And the flavors are really good too. My personal favorite is Emotional Damage because it's relatable. It also does taste really good too. To me, it tastes like fruit punch, except this gives you energy and you don't have to suffer from a sugar crash afterwards. Also, if you click on the link in the description, you'll be able to get access to free samples of the product. You don't have to enter your credit card information or PayPal or anything. You just sign up and get free samples sent to you. Also, if you've already gotten free samples before and you just wanna do a regular order, free shipping will be automatically applied, so you can still join the promotion if you'd like to. But yeah, once again, thanks to Gamersups for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys will try out the product. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right back into the video. The video features several different characters from Genshin. Firstly, there's the Traveler, who is the protagonist, and Guoba, who plays Monokuma, as per usual. The other characters are Arataki Ito, who is labeled the ultimate problem child. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good talent for him. Personally, I'd label him as the ultimate himbo myself, but this works too. He's obviously not a child, but he definitely does act like one a lot. Next up is Kuki Shinobu, and she is the ultimate babysitter. Yeah, I'd say that checks out. I'm guessing they include a child in Ito's talent to further emphasize that she's his babysitter too. Paimon, of course, is the ultimate emergency food. Like, come on, what else would she be? Shangling and Kaching's are a bit harder to decipher. It states that Kaching is the ultimate gua sha master slash practitioner. Gua sha is like a healing technique of traditional East Asian medicine. It's sometimes called coining, spooning, or scraping. So I'm not really sure why she would have this talent. I don't main her and I don't know anybody else who does, but from what I've seen, she's most popular as a main DPS, not a healer. It doesn't really seem to match her personality or role all that well either. She's the Yehung of the Liyue Chising, and her main traits are that she's a huge workaholic and a bit of a skeptic. I'm not sure if there's something I'm missing or if the translation is just wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you can translate it a bit differently. Next up is Shang Ling, which... Yeah. I think it might be the ultimate Guoba trainer if I had to guess, because Guoba's name means scorched rice in Chinese, which is sometimes made into a rice cracker as a snack. So I'm guessing that's what it means. But like I said, this one's a little bit hard to decipher as well. But of course, as always, your girl sus as hell, since Guoba ends up being the Monokuma of this trial. Girl, your track record in Genshin Rampas is so bad. The premise for this trial, though, is pretty meme -y. It's based around the Moon Chase Festival, which was an event that was playable back in the fall of 2021. Unfortunately, you can't play it anymore, but you can watch the cutscenes for the event on YouTube. The Moon Chase Festival is an annual festival that takes place in Liyue. It celebrates the arrival of Fall by Moonlight, which is said to be the time of the year when the Adepti would seek the way thousands of years ago. It was only observed by the Adepti, yet it gave rise to various festivals created by the ordinary folk who sought to emulate it. It's also notable that this was a precursor to the Festival of the Stove God. Anyways, the setting is based off of this event in the trial, it's revealed that they were planning to have a seafood festival to compensate Kaching since during the last Moon Chase Festival, Woba ate all the golden shrimp balls, which is her favorite food. But in a tragic twist of fate, the golden shrimp balls have disappeared yet again. So that's why they decide to hold this trial to determine who's the culprit who ate the shrimp balls. So yes, this whole trial is set up to figure out who ate shrimp balls, not to figure out a murder. Which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little sad about it. Like no death in my Danganronpa? Disgusting. On the bright side, it is pretty hilarious watching this through with that context. Like they are treating this culprit like they're the absolute scum of the earth. The translation even refers to 
of them as a murderer, which might be a translation error, but I really hope it's not. And they're really just that upset that somebody ate the shrimp balls. Like eating food before you're supposed to? Death penalty. Now that I think about it, maybe them being drawn in the Danganronpa style is what allows like the bloodlust of those games to seep into their veins. Their blood just slowly starts converting from red to pink. Anyways, getting back to the story, the traveler accuses Guoba of eating the shrimp balls for obvious reasons, but he denies it, saying there's no way it could have been him. After that, it goes to the first non-stop debate. Ito loses his cool immediately, asking who's the murderer, and yes, by that he does mean the shrimp ball thief, and he continues that a man should stand up and admit his mistakes. This makes everybody question his innocence, since he appears to be implying that he knows that a male did it. Ito also states that he's never been in the kitchen, and the traveler breaks the statement, since the crime scene contradicts this. They found a lollipop at the crime scene, and Ito is the only one who eats them. He then finally admits that he did go into the kitchen, but continues to cry out that he's not the culprit. They eventually realize that Ito couldn't have done the crime since there were beans spilled all over the crime scene and Ito is allergic to beans. He then reveals that after he entered the crime scene through the window, he felt an electric shock and then after that the shrimp balls disappeared. The traveler then has a revelation and realizes who the culprit is and then it goes straight to the closing argument. The crime went like this. The culprit ate the golden shrimp balls and escaped the crime scene by exiting through the window. Ito went inside through the open window and when he entered the remaining electro element that was left there ended up shocking him. And this is what caused him to drop his lollipop. The culprit who ate the golden shrimp balls came back from the outside and entered the restaurant with everyone. The traveler deduces that the only person capable of pulling this off is Kaching, since she's the only suspect who's proficient in electro. Kaching begins to lose it, stating that it can't be her, since she looks forward to eating the shrimp balls the most. But then the traveler confirms that that's the reason she's a prime suspect. Kaching begins to lose it and calls him stupid repeatedly, bringing out her inner Leon Kawhi. Water. They then dive into a bullet time battle. She mostly just retorts back with pretty basic lines, like don't make jokes, it wasn't me, I didn't do it, stuff like that. And then the traveler is finally able to deliver the final blow, and unfortunately I couldn't really make sense of the conclusion for this one. It translated her final line to, besides stealing the golden shrimp ball, what does it have to do with the thunder element? And then the truth bullet was translated differently two times. Once it was translated as her personality, ka-ching, then another time it was translated as character design, ka-ching. I'm assuming it probably has to do with the fact that there was leftover Electro there. But yeah, like I said, it couldn't exactly make this part out. After this, Kaching finally admits to her crime, stating that she just wanted to eat more shrimp balls. And what happens after this? Well, she just fucking explodes on the spot. Monoguoba wastes no time. I told you guys that I think the bloodlust of Danganronpa just seeped into these characters' veins. After this, you get her underwear in true Danganronpa fashion. I really do wish we could have seen everybody's reactions after she exploded, though. Like, I'd hope the reaction would be like, yo, Guoba, that's a little overkill, right? But I don't know, man, maybe they're all pumped up. Their blood's completely converted from red to pink and they're just ready for death. But yeah, like I said, it ends before we get to see their reaction, so unfortunately we don't know. But I did notice on the thumbnail of this video, it does say number one, kind of implying that they're at least considering making another part for this. And this was actually released fairly recently too. So if you guys did enjoy this animation and you want it to continue, be sure to send the creator lots of love on the original video on Billy Billy. Overall, I just thought that this animation was really well done. And I thought that some of you guys might be interested in it as well, since it seemed like a lot of you guys enjoyed my last Genshin slash Danganronpa crossover video. I do wish this case was an actual murder mystery, but I can't lie, the shrimp scenario was pretty hilarious, especially with how seriously they were all taking it. I also really like that they used the Moon Chase Festival as the setting. Since that quest was so important to Guoba's character, it's probably the event that fleshes him out the most, so I think it's a very fitting setting for a Danganronpa crossover, since he's taking on the mascot, aka Monokuma's role. But yeah, this definitely made me want more Danganronpa and Genshin crossovers. I feel like the characters in Genshin have all these really big, unique personalities, so they fit right in with the Danganronpa over-the-top setting. I'd like to make a Wheel of Fate with Genshin characters soon. It's an idea I've had for a long time, but I wasn't really sure how interested people would be in it. But now that it seems like you guys are interested in Danganronpa Genshin crossover stuff with my last video, I definitely think I'll end up making that one soon. This is the list of characters that I have for it so far. Let me know if you guys want me to revise it or not. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching the video. Please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. That kind of stuff does really help me out with knowing what you guys are interested in, as well as helping my videos get into the algorithm. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you real soon.